Welcome. It is Ash Wednesday, the beginning of our Lenten journey and an important day to all Catholics. You're probably watching the video because you have received your Ash Wednesday packs or managed to get hold of some ashes and you'd like to follow or to partake in this day in a prayerful and spiritual way. This video is meant to help you with that. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Joel. But now, now it is the Lord who speaks. Come back to me with all your heart, fasting, weeping, mourning. Let your hearts be broken, not your garments torn. Turn to the Lord your God again, for he is all tenderness and compassion, slow to anger, rich in graciousness, and ready to relent. Who knows if he will turn again, will not relent, will not leave a blessing as he passes, oblation and libation for the Lord your God. Sound the trumpet in Zion, order a fast, proclaim a solemn assembly, call the people together, summon the community, assemble the elders, gather the children, even the infants at the breast. Let the bridegroom leave his bedroom, let the bride her alcove. Between vestibule and altar let the priests, the ministers of the Lord, lament. Let them say, Spare your people, O Lord. Do not make your heritage a thing of shame, a byword for the nations. Why should it be said among the nations, Where is their God? And the Lord, jealous on behalf of his land, took pity on his people. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Instead of giving a homily, I'd like to leave you with a reflection that you could do silently in this time. Think of a particular area in your life that perhaps you feel that you have lost control of, that you could do better about. Pause. What is one attainable thing that you could do to change that habit, that pattern of behavior? Perhaps you use your phone too frequently and it affects the day after when you wake up because you have lack of sleep. Putting your phone away from your bedside is something small and attainable, but could change your sleep pattern. Think of something small and attainable that you can do in an area of your life which you feel that you could have more control of so that you can grow to be a better person. When you're done, Take some time, if you are in a community or with your family, to share that one thing you would like to do differently, that you would like to commit to in these 40 days of Lent leading to Easter. These are the people that can help you to attain that goal, can remind you of what you had set out to do and can help you to be accountable for your own life. We now move to a time of intercession. In your own home, you may offer up petitions that are close to your heart, 
either for yourself, your loved ones, but also think of the church, people who are suffering as well. And so we pray. Let us turn to our loving Father and ask him for the healing and strength we need for a change of heart this Lent. That this season of Lent will be a time of greater prayer and fervent devotion for us and for all the Church. We pray to the Lord. Lord, graciously hear us. That these days of Lent will be an opportunity for peacemaking and reconciliation throughout the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, graciously hear us. That God will mend all our broken relationships which we surrender to him and make us merciful, gentle and forgiving. We pray to the Lord. Lord, graciously hear us. That God in his kindness and gentleness will stir the hearts of all those who have left the church because of self-absorption, sin, disappointment or anger. We pray to the Lord. Lord, graciously hear us. That we will be generous in our almsgiving this Lent and be attentive to the poor and abandoned in our midst. We pray to the Lord. Lord, graciously hear us. Loving Father, bless our efforts this Lent so that we will bear a plenty the fruits of the Holy Spirit. Help us also to be patient and encourage one another so that we bring out the best in all of us. Grant this through Christ our Lord and Saviour. Amen. We now pray over the ashes. So you probably have uh, Ash Wednesday pack with you with some ashes and holy water. And uh, I have prepared them here in a bowl holy water. Lord, bless these ashes by which we show that we are dust. Pardon our sins and keep us faithful to the discipline of Lent, for you do not want sinners to die, but to live with the risen Christ who reigns with you forever and ever. Amen. Turn away from sin and be faithful to the gospel. Together we pray in the words Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. Father in heaven, the light of your truth bestows sight to the darkness of sinful eyes. May this season of repentance bring us the blessing of your forgiveness and the gift of your light. May the Father bless us and keep us from evil and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. 